Heather here, and we came back from a trip all around a local town that has a little town festival called Bluebird Days. Um, every year in August, right after school goes back to back in session, and there's tons of rummages all around. So we spent the day rummaging around this town, and first I want to show you the tablecloths and blankets that I got, um, because mostly because I want to throw them in the washing machine um, before I store them for um, for shipping to customers on Etsy because some of them have a little bit of a funk to them. So I wanna show them to you so I can go ahead and get them in the washing machine, get them all cleaned up nice and fresh. Um, so first I got this really neat crocheted afghan, which is just beautiful. It's like daisy, sunflower looking, really, really sweet. I always have looked for one of these, but never found one that somebody didn't want an arm and a leg for. So that was super exciting. This is nothing super special, but it's just cute little plaid, vintage tablecloth. This one I was super excited about because it's vintage, but it's got really fun colors. Um, sorry, there's a sunshine glare on there, but it's coming in golden hour for me. Um, but aren't, isn't that so pretty with the bright yellow and the bright red and the pink? It's adorable. And then this is my favorite one. I found it in the bottom of a bag. I love the diamonds. I just think that's so stinking cute really really sweet this is the one that's got the funkiest smell so i am gonna try to soak that out um but it's got a really cute little it's hard to see in the sunshine with the glare sorry but it's got a really cute little diamond pattern in the center and then really cute little pink roses and then a bigger diamond more roses and then another little skinny diamond pattern so i thought that was really really stinking like mid-century atomic and cute 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 um, then the other thing that Mr. found, and it is a 1990s Daisy, Daisy, what am I even saying? I was thinking of Daffy Duck. Um, isn't there a Daisy Duck? I don't even remember. I haven't watched Looney Tunes in a million years. But anyway, Tweety Bird, Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, Sylvester, the cat, um, little fuzzy blanket. So those are all headed for a nice, good washing machine bath. <laughs> I just wanted to get through those linens because um, all but the crocheted blanket and the Looney Tunes came from one rummage sale. It was just a big bag full of linens. Um, so that was two sales. I'm trying to think what else came from the tablecloth sale. I got a ton of mice. So the little old lady was a collector of little mice and I actually bought a whole box full of mice that she had the first day and then went back the second day for more mice that she promised me she would bring. Um, so I'm going to list most of these and a lot together because some of them were kind of chipped up. But there were a couple that I listed separately. Um, these little cuties are listed separately. These little guys are listed as a pair because they're both bearing instruments. Um, these little candle holders, they're listed as a pair. They're real cute. They sit on a pair of candles. This little guy, because I thought he was neat, he's like terracotta, but only the insides of his ears are glazed and his tail is glazed. Tail kind of weirds me out though, because it seems like a an earthworm. This guy, because he was real sweet with the ladybug on, he's not marked. None of these are marked. Um, this guy is listed by himself, because he does have a, you can't see it, a little Bone China Japan sticker on the back. These two little tiny babies teeny tiny like maybe an inch tall and they weren't broken by some miracle um I liked the little patch on the back of his jacket I thought that was cute so they're a pair um where's where also the mice these guys which I already have a set listed but with fall coming up it seemed like they'd be a good idea to buy and where are the other mice be all the mice that are listed by themselves and then the rest of these are in one big lot together so these are this is like resin see I considered none of these like very special so that's why I'm putting them all together they're special in their own right but some of them are chipped and broken and none of them are anything like super duper cute um, but somebody who collects little figurines might like them he's funny not marked this guy's cute also not marked I think he's made in Taiwan it says this guy was cute and he's plastic. His ears are bigger than he is. 
This guy's a little gold mouse on a bell, but his ear is all chipped off. This guy's losing his overalls. Um, this is his partner, also in overalls, but his ear was all chipped. These two little girls are real similar, but not exactly the same, but they're like kissing mice, so they would have had little boys probably, but the boys are nowhere to be found. This guy was a candle, and I thought his ears and eyes were funny, or his eyes and nose were funny. They're like just a little tiny ball, beady-eyed thing. Um, this is Arrow, Jersey City, New Jersey, um, souvenir piece made in Japan. I don't know what would have gone in the hole, um, but he was kind of cheeky. This little mouse is an ornament. She's very dapper. If girls can be dapper, I don't know. This is like a frosted glass mouse. Um, these little mice babies all tucked warm in their acorn bed. This little guy was cute, um, but his ear is all chipped up and has been glued back together. He's real sweet. Um, still has his tail though, which is amazing. This guy was super cute, super cute. And I'm really sad that his tail was chipped off as well, but he still has his little made Japan tag. This guy, I don't know what it is. It's like made of pottery. It's got like cording as a tail and beady eyes. He's funny, it looks like a homemade piece. This guy's real cute, um, but his hand is chipped off. Um, let's see, this guy, he's intact, I think. I don't think he's broken or anything. And it has some numbers on there and then a Made in Japan sticker on the back, but I don't, again, I don't know if there's a maker or anything, so he's going in the lot. Um, this little guy is Small World Arts and Crafts Hobby Miniatures made in Hong Kong, um, and he's on his little card. This little tiny thing might have been a bell, but it says mother. But I don't know if it was a bell or not because it doesn't have a bell now. Um, and then the rest of these are little teeny tiny teeny tinies, like an inch tall. Hard to even probably see on camera. These two are matchy matchy, but their feet are chipped. This little guy in his overalls has the cheekiest little smirk, smirky face. Uh, another little single, but his tail is broken. And this little Christmas mouse, he's plastic. And then this mouse on a stick, which who doesn't need a mouse on a stick? But I thought he was funny too. So anyway, I bought the whole box. Um, and that's how they'll be listed. That whole box of all of them together. I got this little angel, April, wings intact cute big eyes so naturally i thought i should have him um i got this cute trivet the owl it's not marked or anything but it is really sweet got this neat um lucite turtle i don't know if it would be a coaster probably not an ashtray since it's lucite but it's neat because it has pressed flowers in there really just a sweet little piece it hasn't made an alaska tag on the back which is interesting I got this stack of these gold starburst plates. There are seven plates in there. There's no markings, but I feel like I've had a bowl from that before and it's flambro or flame proof. I don't know one or the other of those. I always pick up these plastic wood look Homco birds when I see them because they always do sell for me. Got these little tumbling mice in their box. They're Taiwan, they're like nothing amazingly special, but they are a cute little set for Christmas time. Um, that was okay. We don't need that. Sorry, I probably just banged that in your ear. I got these neat little pieces. If you've seen any of my other videos or checked out my Etsy shop, you know that I have had a couple of sets of seasonal prints. That's like the four seasons and they're tall and long and skinny. Um, but they're the same kind of frame, same kind of speckled gold pattern, same kind of everything except for the middle is like a, a metallic seasonal print and there's usually four in a set well I've never seen anything other than the seasons and so these are neat to find these floral prints in there and they're signed RF Harnet so I don't know if these originally came this way or what but they're in wonderful condition with their little hangers still intact I picked up this little set of saucers because it's a beautiful coral and aqua they are not marked um, but they do have kind of a Texas wear style to them picked up this really neat wickery wooden pressed butterfly pressed leaf tray and it is Highmark Taiwan and I do think I have some other stuff from Highmark um, that I have listed in the past so 
of course I picked that up. I always pick up these when I see them, but especially if they're in fun colors like pink, teal, and yellow. Uh, and there was a bonus one in there that was just brown. I got this beautiful metal tray. My heart kind of gravitates towards these and I don't really know if they're valuable or people really actually want them, but they're so pretty. And they'd just be so pretty on a coffee table or a tea table or a buffet, a baby shower, a bridal shower. I mean, you could dress up so many, you know, different things with a pretty little tray like that. Uh, egg plates, which I always pick up. This is Indiana glass egg plate egg plate it is green glass which i thought would be super pretty for the upcoming holidays um thanksgiving christmas um so that'd be super pretty even easter it would be pretty um in the green so i always pick that up there it's heavy as can be uh, i picked up this cool diffuser vidal sassoon 80s brown diffuser <laughs> i just thought it was funny um if it doesn't sell i may use it test it out see if i can diffuse my hair and make it something cute um, let's see, I already showed you the mice. I got two of these. This one has its original Japan sticker on it. And this one's a little bit bigger. Always like to have those in stock. Every time, oops, I see butterflies, Homco butterflies. I picked them up. Um, actually, this sale ended up being an estate sale a friend of mine was having, and I didn't even know it. Um, showed up, and there she was, and I was like, oh, hey. So, picked up these cute butterflies from her, and at that sale also, I got this Homco wicker-looking towel bar at the same place as the butterflies. You know me, and I always pick up a mug tree, um, so of course I picked that up. Let me think, let me think. This was at a sale that had a lot of cool stuff. Um, I just thought it was neat. It's carved. It's signed January 25th, 1983 CO. So I don't know if it was a hobbyist piece and they really carved that or that's just who gifted it. I don't know, but I just thought it was really cool, really neat, really could be something special. Um, but maybe it's not anything special, but I just think it was neat. I just thought it was cool and I thought it would really look and go with a lot of decors. I mean, it could go with like a brutalist style, mid-century modern style, like an artsy, you know, tribal. There's just a lot of styles that that could go with. So I picked that baby up, picked up a trivet, um, and it's just a single, but I love that it was in red and green. I usually see these in pinks and yellows and purples, um, but red and green for Christmas time would be really cute. So I thought I needed that. I always pick up these little angels with the flat backing. Um, so they hang on the wall, little cherub set. Always pick up those when I see them because for whatever reason they sell. And I will attribute that to the mister. He thought the very first time that we ever came across those gold angels, he thought we should pick those up. And I kind of didn't know. Well, we've sold almost every pair that we've picked up. So I always pick them up because I do know that people are looking for them. So um, I do that because I know that people like them. Not necessarily because I like them, but somebody does. I picked up this set and there's randomly seven. Um, so it would be a six plus an extra, I guess, or eight minus one, I don't know, but it's got really cute aqua and green butterflies on the pillow, or not pillowcases, these are placemats. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do this lot in a set, uh, or these three in a lot. Um, basically a green glass basket, a green glass ashtray with a starburst in the center, and then a green glass little trinket candy dish um, with a cute little flower motif in the bottom. Um, I didn't pay very much for any of them, so I will list all three of those together for someone who's decorating with green glass. I thought this was super pretty, it's metal. And isn't that pretty, that butterfly on the top? That's gorgeous. It's not got any markings or anything, but I just thought it was a really pretty little vanity tray or trinket dish. I always pick up these little tea bag holders made in Japan. Cute little I'll hold the tea. Um, let's see, let's see. Mr. talked me into this. This was at the mouse sale. They're just cute. It's on a piece of wood. Um, it says, love makes you twice as tall because he's helping him out to get the cheese. I just thought it was cute. He did too. I second guessed it, but he was like, no, you should get that because it's cute. This was also there at the sale. This is pottery planter it's not marked or anything but I thought it had a neat pattern on it so it would make a really pretty planter for someone let's see let's see I picked up four of these splatter glaze napkin rings Christmas trees I thought those were really cute um, would be really cute on a holiday table as a holiday place setting 
so that was precious these I listed I ended up listing as a set because they all came together in a box lot um, but they are Holly napkin rings a set of four and these are 1986 Pia bone china made in the Philippines so there's four of those then there are six of these little miniature candy candy candle holder doodads and they have the holly on them too so there were six of those then there is an odigiri japan uh copyright mary ann baker and it's got its tag still odigiri and it also has holly and berries and then two little miniatures with no name no marking just a little christmas boot and a little milk jug with a christmas owl and then a lefton holly candy dish with the left and sticker so I lotted all those together because they are all holly the left and has some chipping um, but it would just make a cute little vintage set of Christmas goodies this really neat purse um, clutch bag has a really neat way of opening and closing the inside has seen better days I will not list this for very much money but I thought it was cool for someone who is into old purses and evening bags maybe they know how to clean it and keep it safe but if you can take a peek in there it's got some like moldy damage um, I don't know if it can be saved or not but I just thought it was so cool how the opening was and if somebody's just gonna hang it then I think it would be you know okay to display so I picked that up because it's really neat um, two boxes of play school pegs like for a peg pegboard um and then always you know i pick up the webbing so this is a big honkin package of yellow webbing two packs of new yellow webbing and a new pack of white webbing and then these little nursery rhyme placemats so this one is the three little pit the five little pigs this little pig went to market, this little pig stayed home, this little pig had roast beef, this little pig had none, this little pig cried wee 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 all the way home. And these were put on by Swift's Meats for Babies. <laughs> um, and the back has the nursery rhyme on it. And then this one is Jack and Jill. And then this one is Jack Spratt. So it was those three um, at one sale. And then, of course, some of that came from when we went back to get more mice because the lady told us to. And then we ended up running to um, Noblesville to run some errands. And we stopped at Noblesville Antiques on the Square on Saturday. And I just picked up this one little guy. He's a hippo. Um, really cute. Name is Cookie. And he's a cook. He's a salt and pepper shaker, but he was single. I picked him up from my friend um, Haley and Alexis's booth in Noblesville Antiques on the Square. Um, but he was just had such a sweet face and no partner, so he came home with me. So that is all for that. Stay tuned for a little haul from when we went to um, Heart of Ohio Antique Mall and an MCM treasure trove in Dayton. Stay tuned. See you next time. Take care.